Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to use this Casio FX991 EF Plus second edition scientific calculator uh, to do matrix calculation. Let's get started with this. With this calculator, we can do matrix calculation. But in order to do the calculation, first we have to store the matrix into the memory before doing the calculation. Set up and then select matrix number six. And we are in matrix mode. It, in this calculator, we can store three matrix, matrix A, B, and C, and do the calculation. And this screen might disappear. I'm purposely dis making it disappear by pressing all clear. And then we have a button here for matrix, which you can press with shift so i'm pressing sh shift and this four so we can go to matrix options press shift matrix and here it says what is the dimension press one and it says which matrix we want to store this in matrix a press one and it says what is the dimension it is three row by three column so three by three i'm pressing one and here it asks for the value for 745 i'm pressing 7 and then equal 4 equal 5 equal and it moves to the next row now 230 2 equal 3 equal 0 equal and then it goes to the next one 8198 8 equal 1 equal 9 equal after this press equal sign and you're done press all clear the values stored in the memory do not worry Let's enter this one into B so we can do the calculation. Again, shift four, matrix. So we can go to the uh, dimension one, and then which matrix? We have matrix B, press two. And dimension is three by three, I'm pressing one. And here, six minus, for minus, press that, minus one, equal, five, equal, 26, and then equal, three, 14, nine, three equal 14 equal nine and then equal zero four eight zero four and eight and press all clear do not worry now let's say you want to do a plus b matrix a plus matrix b so we do shift and then four which is matrix matrix a three and that's our matrix if i press now equal sign the matrix will be displayed but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do some calculation. Shift matrix 3 and then plus for matrix B. We have to bring matrix B plus uh, shift matrix and then matrix B number 4. And now if I press equal sign, this is the result of addition of matrix A plus matrix B. And if you cannot read the value as before, move the cursor to see it. Press equal sign. Now, we have now one extra matrix that is holding the last uh, calculation result. You can access it by pressing shift matrix. And here it says matrix ANS. That is matrix answer number six. And if I press equal sign, you can see the value here. All clear. And here B times A, shift matrix four, and then four, uh, matrix B times shift 4 again the matrix and then A 3 matrix B times matrix A and this is the calculated value and then answer multiply by 2 so we want to get the answer shift matrix matrix answer 6 and then multiply by 2 which means all the row and uh, columns will be multiplied by 2 each cell and this is the value. Now if you want to get inverse of the matrix, for example, inverse of the matrix A, press shift 4, bring matrix A, 3. And then for inverse, we press this button and press equal. And this is the inverse of the matrix. And here are the decimal value. And if you want exact value, 27 over 7. And move the cursor and see the values in each cell. All clear. If you want to find the determinant of a matrix, for example, the determinant of matrix A, press shift matrix, and, and from here, seven determinant, and bring matrix A, shift matrix A, three, 
close it. Determinant of alpha matrix is an and then transpose of matrix A. So bring shift four and then go to transpose eight. Transposition shift four matrix A three close it. To transpose the matrix, all the row and columns will be switched. And we know the identity matrix, if you get the matrix multiplied by the inverse of the matrix, the answer will test sometimes your matrix. And let's see how we can do that here. Shift matrix 3 matrix A times shift matrix and then 3 inverse. So I want to do matrix times matrix inverse of matrix A. And after the calculation, we should get one. Otherwise, something is wrong. So this is identity matrix 1, 1, 1, 1. Reduce row echelon form of A. Press shift 4. And from this arrow, we know we have next screen. Come here, R, R, E, F, 2. And then bring the matrix shift 4. Let's say we want to do this time matrix B, 4. And then press equal sign. And that's the reduce row echelon form. If you want to do just row echelon form, press shift, matrix, and then go down, 1, and let's bring matrix A, shift, 4, matrix A, 3, close it, and that is the row echelon form of matrix A. Don't forget to subscribe guys, I really appreciate it. To access all my other videos related for this calculator, please check the link below the video in the description. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Casio FX911 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos. or press all clear, recall X, and we got the exact value if you want to, 1,500, and the answer is 7 over 3, and that's, this is our integration, and the area under the curve shows like this, so from 1 to 2, and as you can see, the answer is 2.333.